scramble. Say hi. Hi, the talk does continue right here on the Morning Scramble. Thank you so much for being our audience. My guest co-host today is Bo Woods from Fun Oldies. Our friends over at 1490. Yep, and 100.9 uh, FM. And Magic, and yes. And Magic 99.1, yeah, that's right. How you doing? We are well this morning. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be better when we get through with this segment or two. That's right. Because we have Dr. Lisa Gergula and we also have Lori back. They're both going to talk about health and how to be healthier. Um, put your health first. That is what we forget. You mm -hmm. know, doctor, I think we forget to put our health first because if you don't have your health, I mean, you nothing, nothing. Else, you have nothing. If you have your health, you have everything. Uh, today, some of the topic is going to be synthetic versus real food Supplements. Version supplements. Yes. And, and what you had asked me to come to speak about was a report that uh, U.S. World News Report had put out a month or so ago, February 24th actually. It says, popular but dangerous, three vitamins that can hurt you. And so what they did was they basically addressed vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And they kind of brought up some very vague articles from the past and studies from the past that had reported, well, they studied prostate and that didn't work and uh, this group here got actually more lung cancer because they took supplements. The problem is they only used one tiny synthetic version of each, not so the actual a food. So A and E are fat soluble, C is water soluble. Correct. Meaning Correct. Uh, if you take too much C or whatever, you will just pee it out. Correct, and the A and the E being fat soluble will be held in the liver and could cause liver toxicity. Now do those we have to be more careful with? Yes, I mean, you should. Yes, regardless you should. of what they are. Exactly, exactly. Okay. You never want to over, for instance, you hear about people who've overindulged with carrots because they want to have uh, different tan skin. And, and I remember up in Canada, they were having tanning pills with beta carotene. So always too much of a good thing is not a good thing. Now I understand though, now D also, jumping just a bit, mm -hmm. research has proven that we have really aren't getting as much D as we need. Uh, earlier information was you have to really be careful with D and not take too much. I think you still do, but we're not getting enough with the sunscreen we're putting on. And That's such, exactly We're not right. getting enough D. We assume that in Arizona there is so much sun that we're getting enough, but once you put on that sunscreen, you're now not getting that. Something so. I need to do. <laughs> a little bit of yeah, sun there. You got a little bit of sun. And D plays a pivotal role in the absorption of, of calcium, calcium in your body, doesn't it? And also some practitioners are using vitamin D for flu prevention. And when you do it for flu prevention, it's quite high levels and if that's done then we really have to test the levels of vitamin D in your body prior to going on a therapy like that. You don't do this at home so to speak. Just don't go buy mega doses of vitamin D and try this on your own. It can be dangerous. And there was a time when when milk did not have vitamin D. Exactly. They put vitamin D in they to do. sort of supplement. Now sometimes that's a good thing. That, for instance orange juice is, is uh, vitamin C fortified for whatever reasons. Now I'll just give you a little hint on that. What they do with oranges is they will juice the oranges and then they hold them for months in vats. And so what happens is they don't even taste like oranges anymore. The juice doesn't taste like orange. Yeah. So they put a orange, vit not a vitamin, but an orange flavoring in there to bring it back to orange flavor. So again, nothing is better than growing your own or buying from a local They're cheating. farmer. cheating, that's cheating. There's always cheating. And right? there was always that trick, uh, not from concentrate or from con concentrate. Right, that's a whole different subject. But once, and they can still say that that's all natural. If it's a natural flavoring, they can add that orange flavoring back in. Again, every time something's processed, something gets lost in the mix. Not from concentrate would be a better choice than from Correct. concentrate, yes. right? Yes, and the best thing is to get well. oranges. I know down in the valley people can't get rid of their oranges. This is a Tangelo. They bring them in by the bags, juice it by hand, you have know, it in I the was morning. thinking about that, thinking of juicing. Remember uh, when you had the machine, the juicer? I mean, everybody juiced their everybody oranges juiced in their the morning. Oranges. That's what you did. You had a handle, it, you cut it in half and, and put a handle. And dad have yes, one in Florida. Every, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, what are you going to demonstrate now for us here today uh, along this line? What I basically want to make a, a, a a distinguishing difference okay. for is the fact that if they're going to, you're going to read these types of reports, it, they get, you, people get scared mm -hmm. and they say, well, what's the difference if I purchase and I go to the grocery store and I purchase a multivitamin or some sort of a supplement versus going to the doctor's office? Why is the one at the doctor's office much more expensive? Why is it different? Why can't I just okay. go to the grocery store? Okay. So I'm going to tell you right now why. Uh, the difference is number one, the synthetic versions. For instance, back to the orange, over 10,000 ingredients in an orange 
and in ascorbic acid, yes, that's vitamin C, they can make vitamin C, they can make tons of vitamin C from one pound of sugar. Oh. So for $2.85 for what, three pounds of sugar, that's retail, think of what they're getting it for and how much ascorbic acid they can push out okay. and make in a factory. So this right here, you really can't compare to this, but we're gonna put this in this bucket. And here's the good part. A kiwi has even more vitamin C and phytonutrients and ingredients than the orange. So we're gonna put the kiwi in now. Um, and when we do things like bread and tortillas, we have um, the whole version, like whole wheat, and this is a brown rice tortilla mm -hmm. with wonderful nutrients that haven't been bleached out. This one is just a plain, flat, bleached white tortilla. Exactly, but we're gonna put it in the bucket. You, can you compare the two, really? You can't compare in taste or for nutritive value. We're gonna put those two in. Uh, we've got the orange in here. Here we have some canned oranges. Can we compare the two? No, because this has been processed, it's been sitting in a can, and the nutritive value of these oranges is basically nothing compared to that fresh tangela so we have I sitting here. I understand that uh, things have been bleached and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, good things have been taken out. Yeah. We, we, we're learning a little bit about that. I don't know why that is, and I don't know if you have an answer for that. Is it an economics thing? Economics, is it a convenience? It's convenience. It's, it will bring the price down so they can sell more of it to the general public. And it's also convenient. It's easy to take a little pill, and they can sometimes modify different studies and research to say, there's your vitamin C, it's all good, take it from the sugar version. Uh, very, very, very few seconds left mm -hmm. because we have to get in the kitchen and make broccoli pesto. This would be uh, compared to Gatorade, so this is actual coconut water that has more potassium okay. than even bananas or anything, and this is also a whole food supplement made from real whole food versus something that I bought in the supermarket that says it has whole fruits and vegetables, 50 milligrams of whole fruits and vegetables, Probably that's not. nothing. And this is also a vitamin C that has berry extracts as well as just ascorbic mm -hmm. acid. Again, has the fruit with them. And again, carrots versus, uh, canned carrots versus regular carrots. So we put everything here in the bucket, we can't compare. So we're gonna take out the good things oh, okay. uh, real quickly. And very quickly, because when we come back right here on the Morning Scramble, Dr. Gurgel is going to be in the kitchen making broccoli pesto. Here are the bad things. Now can you actually, this is the difference. Can you compare this to this? When you're buying regular supplements, you're kind of getting this stuff here. You're not getting the good. You stay right with us. Meet you in the kitchen when we come back right here on the Morning Scramble. If you've been watching, you know we're talking to Dr. Lisa Gergela. She is a chiropractor and nutritionist. We're talking about uh, good vitamins versus vitamins that aren't so good for you. Now we're in the kitchen. We're going to make broccoli pesto. Yes, we are. How do we start? Uh, first thing, I just ground up some garlic, mm -hmm. and I will have this available on my news email newsletter. Anyone who wants to sign up for that will have the official recipe. Excellent. Uh, we just uh, ground up a little bit of garlic in there. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to put in the broccoli. Mm -hmm. And what this is is just a little bit of steamed broccoli. Again, I have the recipe on the site. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to grind this so up together. Each item probably is a good thing to get it going when you're using a food processor. That's what oh, I Oh, sure. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And we have, of course, fresh basil. And again, the reason we're talking about whole foods is that whole foods actually have enzymes, proteins that are bound with these supplements and these vitamins. That's what we want to get into our body. They also have phytonutrients, which are plant source, and there's so many unknowns, and all of these unknown factors, we just can't possibly put into a supplement that no, you buy. Exactly. Do you like pesto as well? Yeah, I love it, and you know, we've got little kids, and we're always trying to find a way to sneak some good stuff exactly. into their meal, the way they do and, it. Yeah. and I can see my wife using the blender uh, uh -huh. doing that. That's great. Yeah. And actually, speaking of blender, you can use a blender, but it comes out a little bit thicker. This is fine. Blender would be fine, too. Uh, you can also, this is not just for kids, but for adults who don't like to get their vegetables in. This can be a dip that you can serve if you don't have a gluten oh, exactly. issue with pita and chips or veggie. We're just putting them all in. Yes. I'm just so amazed how far we've come from knowing that, uh, you know, real whole food is good for you. Imagine well, that. You know, and I think, don't you think we've gone full cycle and full circle? There was a time exactly. in our history when we did know this. 
We did. We did. And, and we, we just got too processed. busy. We got too busy and too processed. And when that kind of thing happens, we lose the nutrients. We lose, you just can't make something in the lab that has all of these other things that carry it, that bring it that to the liver living. and make it alive. It's, it's exactly. Okay. And here comes and the cheese the at cheese. the very end. Okay. And you can put the pasta in there for me. Okay. We're just going to heat it up. This is all what pre cooked. Are we just do a few? Sure, just to heat up a little bit and then we'll mix it all in. Okay. Very simple. This whole thing took what? Less than two or three minutes. You can tell why I don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen, can't you? <laughs> oh, well, we'll get those suckers in there. Just a few, just to kind of get it in okay. there to heat up. And then you always want to drain your pasta. If you are putting this on pasta, you can use a little bit of the pasta water to thin it down. Mm -hmm. That way, that's a good idea. If you're not using it for pasta and you're just going to use it as a dip, it's not necessary to thin it down. So here it is. And where can we find the recipe for this? Uh, it's sign up for my email newsletter, and my website is caringpainrelief.com. All the way down to the bottom, you can see an area that says sign up for my email newsletter, and uh, we will be putting that out within the week. Uh, of course, broccoli, one of the best vegetables uh, growing on earth for you. Yes, absolutely. This is a great way of getting the cruciferous vegetable into your diet, into your children's diet, and also it tastes so good. Right now, broccoli's on sale almost everywhere, so you can use it when it's in, in um, season. We can grow it down in the valley. It's our winter vegetable, and, and here it is, like ready to go. When I do the broccoli, I do not restrict it just to the flowerettes. You can use it. I use the stem. That's I, I, what this is for, too, because yes. there's stems in here, yes, and you're not throwing is, it out. Yeah, a lot of the nutrition. Leaves, the stems, everything that you need. It smells wonderful. Oh, garlic. You've got the oh, basil. And I wonderful. noticed you didn't use any salt. No, there is no salt because there's salt in the cheese. And you, and there's you, salt in the that's cheese. Right. You, you can use a little extra. bit of salt no, and pepper. I brought that extra. with. Excellent. But you know what? It's wow. really not necessary. It really isn't. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, oh you're oh, welcome. Good to have you here. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, when we come back, we're going to continue with the subject of health, putting your health first, with Lori back. You stay right there. But first, the money minute. <laughs> 